Hey everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I just want to do a try on and demo just to show you how sexy and versatile short wigs can be. The full review coming up. So I think women especially kind of go through an evolution uh, throughout their lifetimes, maybe even more so than men because we've got the childbearing, the child raising, the career. Uh, we have hormones that change our bodies drastically and so our hairstyles just naturally evolve as well. Now because I had hair loss and because my hair never ever grew uh, more than just a few inches before it would go through a shedding phase and fall out, um, I swore I would only wear long wigs because I felt like the long wigs were gonna give me my sexy back. I felt like the long wigs were the answer that I never ever had before. I could never have the glamour that that long hair uh, could, could give us. And so that was just in my mind that, you know, I'm not gonna buy short wigs because I really want to experience what it's like to have long hair after all those years of not being able to have it. Now I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> It was within my first year of wearing wigs that I realized that, hey, I am just a short hair person. And I felt like, wow, the short hair can be sexy, the short hair is versatile, it's cool, um, and it's so practical for my busy lifestyle. So no matter what your age, personality, or how busy your lifestyle is, I believe there's short wigs out there that will work for you. So I still think there's a little bit of perception out there that short hair and short wigs are boring, that uh, they're not very versatile to wear, that they're not sexy. That could not be farther from the truth. So coming up, I'm gonna show you lots of different short wig styles and kind of adapt them to whatever your personality might be, just to show you how workable, uh, fun, and sexy they can be. And when I say short, I just mean anything above the chin length. So what I'm wearing now is a new style by Beltress. It's called Cherry in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Um, I am really loving this style. Not only is it practical, cool, and comfortable, it can be super sexy, it can be soft and demure, it can be anything I want it to be. So right out of the box, uh, this is a rather feminine, soft, rather demure style, I think. And if you want to just put it on and wear it right out of the box, I think that's really going to match that, uh, that softer, more understated personality. Now I believe also that this style can be uh, edgy, it can be dramatic, it can be fun to wear. So if you have a personality where you really like to spike things up, Uh, there's enough fringe to play with that really nicely frames the face. You can get some separation in the fiber that's going to give you that PC kind of modern edgy look. There's just enough permatees and contour on the top and at the crown that you can get the lift that you need for something with a little more drama. So I think this style can also be very sexy and ageless. So here's another short style that I haven't worn in a while. This is Noriko's Billy in the color Bubblegum R. Has just a wee little bit of subtle, just a whisper of pink on kind of a white base with a darker root. And it's just a shaggy razor texture all over. But again, I think that this really short style can reflect your inner personality. So if you're more of the softer, kind of understated, practical look, you can always just work those layers to create maybe a little bit of soft fringe around the face, but very slim profile all the way around. Now this style though was born to be edgy. It was born to be dramatic and fun. So you can definitely get that by spiking up these layers all over. You can just get as much edge and drama out of this style as you, as you want. Mm -hmm. 
and here I, I think you have something that is sexy, ageless, and confident. So next up, I am wearing Dolce by Noriko in the color Mochaccino R. Now Dolce right out of the box, it's soft, it's feminine. You can really make it understated if you want by doing a series of tucks. You can just make it into something a little more classic. Maybe a little bit of a retro feel to it. Now if you want something edgy and dramatic, with Noriko's Dolce, I think you can get it. There's a lot of permatease on top. This is just a standard cap style. So that permatease is going to allow you to get some lift, some heavy lift. And these hardy fibers are going to be very stylable. So you can just spike it up, wear it into some dramatic, dramatic type looks. The accentuated crown area and lift kind of give you that natural, like you're standing up straight and you're very confident. It's got a lot of wispiness around the face too, which I think helps with that kind of sexy ageless look. So I'm wearing Ignite by John Renault in the color Palm Springs Blonde, FS17101 S18. Uh, Ignite is one of those timeless classics in the John Renault line. It was one of the first wigs that I wore full time uh, when I started to wear wigs to the office. You'll notice that most of these styles are gonna have uh, anywhere between a one and a three inch nape, which makes it very cool and practical to wear. And you're gonna find that if you do have some fringe around the face, like Ignite has about an eight, eight and a half inch uh, front piece here. This is gonna give you tons of versatility with your styling. It's gonna make it, it's gonna make it much easier for you to achieve the, uh, the look that you want. So right out of the box, Ignite just is a very soft feminine. I wouldn't call it understated because it does have a pretty dramatic angle. But you can certainly take the volume down if you wanted, tucks behind the ear. Just make it very sophisticated, soft, and feminine. Now it's very, very easy to get an edgy, dramatic look. I've had many Ignites, uh, and I have styled them all a little bit differently. There's a lot of permatease on Ignite. It's a lace front, open top, so lots and lots of permatease to feed your desire for edgy, volume, you can part it wherever you want. There's just so much you can do. I have I have worked it into some, you know, a braid right across the front. Braids all over. I've done a three-point, a three-point barrette kind of a thing that made it look really edgy, fun, and dramatic. So I think the essence of Ignite though is a very sexy style is an ageless style. It exudes confidence just right out of the box. So I'm back wearing Heather by Renee of Paris in the color Sugar Cane R. Now I think I'm pretty sure that this style has been discontinued by the manufacturer. Um, it, I guess it was around a long time. It has been one of my favorite pixie cuts um, of all time, made possible by this beautiful fringe. It's kind of no fuss, very practical, cool, and comfortable to wear. Now you can really get a nice edgy look out of Heather. So there's a lace front. <clears throat> so you can really spike up that volume on top, get a dramatic kind of up and over style. This has been in the box for quite a while, so it's a little stiff. It just needs to be refreshed a little bit. But you can definitely get a high lifted, kind of punky, edgy, dramatic look out of this style. C 
see how pixies can be sexy? And again, it's how you wear them. Uh, wear them with confidence and that's exactly what people will see. Next, I'm wearing a brand new style in the Tony Breton line. This one's called Impressive in the color light blonde. A no fuss, no muss kind of style. It's completely open cap, very nice price point. So these little pixies like this will really fool you. Um, you wouldn't think that it could be sexy or edgy or it couldn't be very versatile. You couldn't be farther from the truth. This is a really cute wig that I think you can do a lot with. So right out of the box, if you just give it a shake, kind of find a natural part, use your fingers to calm it down, calm down all the layering. Just wanna work that wispiness around, curl it in towards the face to frame the eyes. This can give you such an ageless look, a confident look, a sexy look. This has been Impressive by Tony Bratton in the color Light Blonde. So here's a super cute short style by Ellen Villa. This is called Night in the color Candy Blonde Rooted. I fell in love with this style as soon as I received it and reviewed it. And it can be anything you want it to be. So right out of the box, it has these soft waves in the back, kind of an under curl, which gives it more classic look. It has a little pieciness in the front, which gives it a wispy texture. It's super cool and easy to wear with its open cap. So if you wanted just a smooth look, use your fingers get a nice smooth girl next door every day kind of short bob and if you want a little drama there's the texture is already there just to kind of piece it out you can play with the part on the top get, get a little bit of volume there A little bit of volume on the sides. Something a little more dramatic. And this is just a really cute, a uh, simple, sexy style. This has been Night by Ellen Villa in the color Candy Blonde Rooted. I think this style here is the most versatile of the short layered bob style cuts that I have. And during in the review, I did lots and lots of different styling with it. I couldn't believe all the different looks that I could achieve with this style. It's just a go every place kind of style. And it really does give a touch of elegance. So right out of the box, if you wanted something a little more understated, it could absolutely be achieved. There's very little permatease on this style, so you can get a really slim profile look if that's what you are aiming for. But girls, it can get really, really edgy and dramatic really quick. These fibers are so impressionable. They kind of stay where you put them. It's easy to get a lot of spikiness, uh, bouffant looks, up and overs. I even had it to where it was punked out on one side. Not probably your everyday style, but in the, for the right personality, you really appreciate this wig. I just like to do a simple up and over where it exposes that beautiful, impeccable hairline with that lace front. So I wanted to add this one to my list of short styles that may just surprise you. This is called Chris in the color Light Blonde. This is by Envy, and this one has been around a while. I have really, really loved the style. Now this is kind of what you might call a classic boy cut, 
kind of a short sheared all over, a little bit of profile and a little bit of fringe in the front. And anything that's boy cut, uh, it doesn't sound real feminine, does, you, does it? But this is really a soft, pretty feminine style. Right out of the box, you just have to just give it a shake, apply it, find your part along that left monofilament part, and be understated and soft, clean and put together. Yeah, Chris, I think can, you can get a little edgier look just because of all the layers. Can get a nice wispy appeal out of it. Bring out that texture and get something edgy for evening. A little bit of a dangly earring, you exude confidence and agelessness. This has been Chris by Envy in the color Light Blonde. So next I'm wearing Carla by Tressalore in the color Dark Amber Highlight. This is a soft feminine design. It's a short, straight, heavily layered bob. Very practical, comfortable, wearable for every day. And the drama can come from a couple different places. With this one, it seems like I'm getting a lot of drama out of this color. Look at those chunky, pale ash blonde highlights around the face. I love that. It's just like a little frosting on top of the cake. Layers of auburns. And right out of the box, it's just so feminine. But I definitely think you can get a edgier, more dramatic, chic look out of this style as well. It has an impeccable lace front, so don't be afraid to take it way off of the face to bring the drama. It can be such a good, chic evening look. Let the wispiness just frame the face. Maybe do a little bit of a tuck. So it is my hope today that I've kind of changed your mind and now you really believe that short wigs and hairstyles can be very sexy and confident. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.